Yo, yeah, what's up, y'all? It's RC Talks About Basketball. I'm back with another video, right? So, um, right now, we want to talk about the Iowa Hawkeyes. Are you surprised? Yeah, you guys know how it is, a reoccurring subject on this channel. Um, so, before I get started, come on, guys. Like, subscribe, comment, share the video. Do all those good things. They all totally free. So, just do it if you want to. So, let's go. Um, and in this video, of course, like I said, we're talking Iowa Hawkeyes. Um, I wanted to just speak a little bit about what I feel like our chances would be um, to make it back to the national championship game um, with a roster that has a few experienced players, but there'll be a lot of players stepping in with first-time roles, a lot of underutilized players now getting the opportunity to perhaps, you know, step into a much bigger role, um, perhaps a more impactful role. And we shall see. We will have a team that will possibly need a little time for development. Of course, over in um, Italy, the team just played absolutely tremendous. Um, won all three games big. Everybody was sharing a rock, getting involved on both sides of the ball. But we, we all know that when um, – the season begins, things are going to be, uh, you know, a lot different than what they were. Um, even though the vacation uh, was nice and we had to play basketball in Italy, in Italy, but the thing about it is, I don't know how much of a true test that can be considered to be. Um, like I say, it was nice to see players, um, you know, coaches just out there again. It had been a while. Um, I just feel like that this team is going to take a – it's going to take some time. A lot of people probably have us penciled in to go right back to the national championship game, the Final Four. And um, I think that it could very well potentially happen, but I just feel like we we need time. Like, um, of course, you got an established superstar player, um, bona fide star in Caitlin Clark. Make no mistake about that. Um, you know, we love Caitlin. We know that she is going to deliver for us um, like the piece of man. She's going to come through. So we know that start the game, middle of the game, end of the game, or all of the game, Caitlin's going to be delivering. So we believe in her, and we know this. And we just wonder what we're going to get from everyone else. And I also would like to say I trust in Kate, Kate Martin and Gabby Marshall, um, 110%. I've already pretty much covered that. But as we look around the team, there's going to be some pieces and some players that are going to step forward. And as we get closer to college basketball, um, there will be a whole lot of chances for me to just check out the team, um, continue to watch the team. Um, it's what we do. Um, we love the Hawkeyes. So, you know, if you're in here, if you're a Hawkeyes fan, go ahead and subscribe. Um, and then also – the Kennedy crossover um, where, where we're going to be playing DePaul outdoors. Um, it's going to be like a scrimmage, um, a, high, a highly touted, a highly touted scrimmage. Um, I want to say, I want to say the date for that is in October. Um, I'm not too sure. I know that we're having that game, but I'm going to need to um, look at the date. Actually, I'm going to probably post the date in this video. So um, that's going to be highly interesting, highly intriguing. Um, I'm hoping that that's televised. Um, it's going to be a, a very, very fun season, of course. It will be. Um, and, I, and I don't feel like if we don't make it back to the championship game, for a lot of people, it's going to feel like a, a, a failure, if, you know, for a lot of Hawkeyes fans. Um, but for me, of course, I would love to make it back. But if we, if we don't, if we don't finish the season um, – somehow say, you know, as long as we don't, I hate to, I hate to like try to ever get satisfied to you losing. You never want to get satisfied with losing ever as a fan. You just don't. But, um, I just feel like the competition is, is going to be really thick. So, um, you, you, you just have to play the games and, and take them as they come. But if we don't make it back to the national championship game, you know, a lot of people probably of course are going to be happy with that. You know, because as much love, there's a lot of love for Caitlin and her Iowa teammates. There's also a lot of hate. And, you know, I guess that comes with winning, I suppose. Um, 
But hey, look, at the end, at the very end of the day, competition is going to be stiff. You got LSU that won a championship that got better. You got UConn that's bringing back Paige Beckers, one of the best players in women's college basketball. You're going to team her up with Aaliyah Edwards um, and AZ Fudd, who we're going to see if she's back healthy. Um, you're going to have Nika Mill. You're going to, this, this UConn team um, has so many pieces and players that, that can contribute. And, you know, of course, my UCLA Bruins are coming back. Um, they're loaded. Um, very versatile team. Um, and then you got South Carolina. They're not going anywhere. Raven Hollywood Johnson, Camilla Cardosa, um, another top incoming recruiting class. So um, you got teams out there. You know, um, you, you got to worry about Stanford because um, even though they retool and attempting to on the fly, you still got Cameron Brink. Um, you got uh, Ohio State. Um, I can't think of her name right now. I can't think of her name. Um, she she's like a, a megastar. Um, she was a freshman um, star last season, but um, they also got J C Sheldon, Ohio State. Um, Indiana is loaded with um, with Mackenzie Holmes. Um, they got Sydney Parrish. So you know you got a lot of teams out there. Oh, uh, Notre Dame. If if Olivia Miles is back right. Um, they they can be uh, problematic because you also got not just old miles but you got Maddie Westbell and uh, Sonia Centron. So um, I'm not gonna sit here disappointed if we didn't make it back. And you got Virginia Tech, who the Hawkeyes we we also play them um, very early matchup, big anticipated matchup. Um, we plan now with Elizabeth Kitley and Georgia A. Moore. Um, so, you know, and they coach by Kenny Brooks. So it's going to be, it, it's not going to be an easy task. And so, you know, I wouldn't hang my head if we didn't make it back. But of course, you know, that's what we rooting for. We want to get back. Oh, I just really want us to get back. I really want Caitlin Clark to, to get that championship. But it's going to take some growing, some, uh, some further development of the players that we have. Because if we know one thing that's for certain, um, don't nothing come easy in the realm of sports. Don't nothing. You got to work for it. Um, no matter who you are, no matter who's on your team. We saw Miami Heat with LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh lose to the Dallas Mavericks. Um, no disrespect to Dirk Nowitzki and, uh, you know, uh, older advanced Jason Kidd and Jason Terry um, at that time. But, hey, it happens. You know, you lose games that you think you should have won. You know, I will – we thought we had it in the bag last year. Maybe some of us did. Um, I always erred on the side of caution. And um, as we go forward, because that's what it's all about going forward, um, hey, I, I hope we get we get back there. Um, and it's a long season, and it's a lot to talk about from now um, before it even starts. It hasn't even started yet. But it's so much to discuss um, before the season, as the season goes towards the end of the season. March Madness is, is – uh, almost unto itself a whole nother crazy wow season everybody loves the tournament um it's one of the the best uh best thing about sports is uh march madness so i just wanted to just come on talk some our hawkeyes with you guys and um you know what if you're a hawkeyes fan you know go ahead and put your c's up you know just take your index finger and your thumb and just make a C. Put up two C's. Kaylin Clark is the truth. We'll talk more Iowa Hawkeyes. I'm out, y'all. Peace.